Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another very exciting video. Today we're talking about Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I just wanted to say this is going to be a different type of review because I'm particularly biased to Mario 64 and I have no experience with the other two games. And I highly doubt that my opinions will reflect the wider Nintendo fanboy community. So when I heard there was a 3D All-Stars coming for the Mario collection, I was very excited. However, when it was announced, I couldn't help but be disappointed that Super Mario 64 was not a HD remake, and equally disappointed that it kept its old aspect ratio. However, I must say, powering the game on, playing through this, I actually didn't mind the fact that it didn't have a 16 by 9 ratio. I actually enjoyed the fact that it had been cleaned up just a bit. I actually gave zero stuffs about the fact that it was an HD remaster. The nostalgia just hit me, guys. However, the romance of revisiting one of the all-time greats of the Nintendo 64 era was short-lived. It became blatantly apparent that the way that Mario handles in this game just doesn't stand up today. And the camera control, that's another problem. I mean, I'm sort of used to it, but I still just couldn't get my head around the way Mario controls. It was truly ghastly, guys. I just cannot envision a universe where someone completely new to this game will pick this up for the first time and actually enjoy it. So for me personally, this is a big fail for Nintendo. Mario 64 just lacks that finesse, that extra bit of polish to bring it to a new generation of fans. Look, I played this game growing up. I can't see myself playing this game to completion, but I will probably play it to beat Bowser once you get 80 stars, just for the sake of nostalgia. Now, Super Mario Sunshine, this is a game that I have very little experience with. A lot of people were butthurt about the lack of GameCube control support. You can get this from Power A. Now, I know it's the analog triggers that you want and that controller doesn't have it, but it's Super Mario Sunshine. Your enjoyment of this game is not going to be hindered at all by the lack of analog triggers. It is not a vital function to enjoy this game. Anyways, as I said, I've never played this game before. At the time, I just figured I was too old for Mario. So I was really excited to get this game because it's one that I missed. Look, I played it and I must say that I did not enjoy it. Something that drove me insane was the aim for the Super Soaker thingy was not inverted. The fact that there is no option to invert the aiming of this game just makes it completely unplayable to me. I mean, yeah, it looks nice and it's got the widescreen ratio, but I just didn't enjoy this game. It's just not my cup of tea. Now, Super Mario Galaxy. Again, I have zero history with this game. I actually wasn't a gamer during the Wii, Xbox, PlayStation 3 era. And when I was revisiting some of the games that I missed from that generation a few years ago, it's just one that didn't interest me. But I was pleasantly surprised by this game. It's a lot of fun. It 100% holds up. I'm not 100% crazy about using this thing as a motion control, but it does not destroy the enjoyment of this game at all. Mario handles well in this game, and there are none of those horrific issues that hindered Mario 64. I'm actually looking forward to beating this one. And if you ask me, the collection was worth getting just for this game alone. I mean, think about it. If they released these games individually, they all would have been full price and you would have had to paid a butt ton for the lot of them. And given that two of them haven't particularly aged well, I would have been really angry. But we got this nice package and I get to play Super Mario Galaxy with two other games in the collection. And that's what good value looks like, guys. Anyways, those are my thoughts on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. What did you guys think? Have these games held up? Because in my opinion, only one of them has. Are you disappointed at the lack of a HD remake for Super Mario 64 just as I am? Is Super Mario 64 still playable in its current state? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, and on another note, I see a few people saying, wow, you deserve a few more subscribers. Thank you for the kind words. Um, if you do like the content I'm producing, please hit that like button. That really helps me a lot. Um, it'll favor me in the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, that's it for me. See ya.